On this video, we're gonna go ahead and go through all the amazing, most useful tips and tricks and hidden features that there is to know about any Mac OS, Mac computer. That's running the latest version of Mac OS. All in 200 seconds or less, which is equivalent to three minutes and 20 seconds. So start the timer and let's get started. Starting off with the best way to take a screenshot. Instead of hitting the standard command shift three or four, Try Command Shift 5 as this will give you access to a bunch of different options. You could screen record, as you can see here, do an entire screen window, screen record a certain section. There's just so much more. So definitely check out this bar than the generic screenshot. Now, if you own an Apple Watch, by going into the system preferences and go into security and privacy, if you want to, you could actually enable that Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. So next time when you have access to your Mac, you don't have to type in your passcode. In addition to that, you can also allow it entering the passcode. You'll see that you can just tap the power button on your Apple Watch, and this will automatically authorize the passcode. So no need to type in that long password whenever you're authorizing settings or downloading third-party apps. Now, whenever you receive a PDF that requires a signature, you have access to the awesome markup tool, and this thing is really powerful. Just tap this little icon over here, and from here, you'll notice you can scribble pretty much on anything but in addition to that, the most useful tool is the signature tool. Whenever you create a signature, you can either use the trackpad depending on the device you're using, like a laptop. Uh, you can use the camera, which is interesting. It will basically scan your signature on a white piece of paper. It actually works, but I personally prefer using the iPhone. As you'll see, if you pick up your phone, it will literally change the screen and you can literally sign right here with your finger. And it's pretty accurate to the most part. I just tap done and now the signature is saved and now this you could add more than just one now massive update from big sur is that you see these icons right here where wi-fi bluetooth airdrop all that stuff you literally can actually like click and drag this and put it on your toolbar on top of here it's pretty ne neat like literally all this stuff can be placed up here if you want to so if there's one that you use the most click and drag it and there you go now the integrated voice memo application on the Mac got a massive update and this is extremely useful especially when you're using this in class, recording a cinema, anything. Once you're done recording, click on it and there is actually is an enhance option right here which will remove and eliminate any background noise for the best clarity. If you gotta solve a quick mathematical question instead of going on Google or opening up the calculator, literally just search it up, enter the equation and it'll answer it right there automatically. Now this next one is an extremely hidden feature. If you use Safari a lot and you're watching a YouTube video or even other streaming platforms, by right clicking and then right click once more, you'll see the option to use enabled picture in picture. And this is exactly the same like you can do on an iPad and an iPhone nowadays. So you literally drag and drop it anywhere. And then of course, lastly guys, don't forget, you have Sidecar. This is probably one of the best features you can have, especially if you need a second monitor on the go. Literally just click on here, click here, and in a matter of seconds, it connects and synchronizes with your iPad, and your iPad now is a part of your extended screen, or you can mirror it if you like. Trust me, this feature is extremely useful, and if you use Photoshop, you can use a stylist. And there we go. That is all the most useful hidden features there is to know about the latest generation Mac OS firmware update available on our Mac computers. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you hit that like button as well as get subscribed. And feel free to comment down below what other tech product you wish to see in this 200 seconds or less series. Missed a previous video? Check it out right over here. And in the video right next to that one, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.